In this lesson, I will explain to you naive Bayes variants. And in naive Bayes variants, we will discuss Bernoulli distribution. As you know that there are three different kinds of variants which comes under naive Bayes. These are Bernoulli distribution, multinomial distribution, and Gaussian distribution. So in this lesson, our focus will be on Bernoulli distribution. So when you will see the books, you can find out these equations or these formulas, which says that P means probability of X is equal to a small X, which is equal to P raised to power X and so on. So please do not be confused and do not think that these are very difficult concepts. I will try my best to make it easy. First of all, I will explain to you where you have to apply these Bernoulli distribution or what are the implementations of this. If you have a data set in which your dependent variable has only two attributes or simply you can say that it is binary in nature. Binary means two output, zero or one, true and false, success or failure, right? Just like head or tail. So these are the two or the binary output. Here you have to apply the Bernoulli distribution. Clear? Okay. Now see how we will write down. I say that the probability of success, because these things you will find in your books as well, probability of success is equal to P and probability of failure is equal to Q. Normally these two symbols are used in the books, P and Q. And Q is equal to 1 minus P. Whether it is a small P, lowercase or uh, uppercase does not matter. Now, what is the meaning of this? That probability of success is equal to P and failure is equal to Q, which is equal to 1 minus P. Here, students sometimes become confused. So, in question, suppose it says that probability of success is 0 0.40 and solve the problem, whatever is the requirement. So, students sometimes say we do not have Q given or the probability of failure is not given. How come we can solve the problem? Keep in mind that probability lies between 0 to 1. If this is given, it means that in order to find out Q, only you have to subtract 1 minus 0 0.40, which is equal to 0 0.60. And this 0 0.60 is your Q, probability of failure, or you can say 1 minus P. That is why it is called 1 minus P. If Q is given, if the probability of failure is given, then you have to subtract 1 minus Q. Right? So do not be confused because in, it happens in the questions, they provide only one, either this or this. Whatever is the probability, subtract one minus whatever is given, you can find out the other part. Clear this point? Okay, now in equation you, say, you see here that they have used x here, that is why I am using x as a random variable. But if in some books they are using z or y, it does not matter. Or you, the, your concept should be clear, right? So as a random variable, this is x. I say if x is equal to 1, right, it means this is the probability of success. If this random variable x is equal to 0, it means this is the probability failure. Simple, right? Now we can prove this. How come this equation equals to this? That if x is equal to 1, 1 means success, it should equal to p. And when x is equal to 0, 0 means failure, then it should be equal to 1 minus p. We have to prove. Right? x has binomial Bernoulli distribution. So I can show you here p and here x is equal to x. Why I have used here this x? Because in equation it is x. Whatever you have, you can use it here, right? If random variable is equal to 1, right, is 1. So put wherever is x, you have to put this, the value 1. p raised to power 1, 1 minus p raised 1 minus 1. 
right so power 1 it will remains the same whether it is a small or a lower case or upper case here 1 minus p 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 right so it is 0 the power of any if the power of anything is 0 it means this whole part is equal to 1 if you have 1000 power of 1000 is 0 it means it is equal to 1 so this part is 1 here we have p and it is proved that if x is equal to 1 which is success so probability of success is equal to p this part is equal to p if it is 1 now we will prove x is equal to 0 if it is failure then it should be equal to 1 minus p and 1 minus p is equal to q so we will prove here right wherever you will see here now x is power 0 1 minus p and here is 1 minus x so 1 minus 0 the power of anything is 0 it will be 1 and here 1 minus p raised to power 1 it will remain same so multiply it it will be equal to 1 minus p so it means if the random variable is 0 means if the probability is failure it means it is equal to 1 minus p and we have proved here 1 minus p so in this way you can prove this theorem or Bernoulli distribution so simple so this one and these two are same sometimes you will see like this do not worry if you like this you can use this if you like this you can use this both have the same meaning it means that probability of x what is x x is the random value variable which value is 1 or 0 so it says it is equal to p and q or sometimes you will see 1 minus p if it is p success when it will be equal to p if x is equal to 1 and we have proved here and if x is equal to 0 it is equal to q or 1 minus p and we have proved here so this is the Bernoulli distribution I hope the concept is clear again I am repeating this point do not confuse if p is given right if p is 0 0.30 what is q or 1 what is p minus q only you have to subtract whatever is given because the probability lies between 0 to 1 Right, I hope the concept is clear. Please practice it. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.